Previously on the RTG. This Christ so far! That's not fair! He's literally playing mystery ball. This Lucas actually is insane though. This Lucas is wonderful. He's so fast and agile. I would never ever score a goal like that with Marcel. Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And in this episode today, it's about to get sweaty. He's here. You ready to find out what we've done? We had to make some changes to our team. We might have even switched up the formation. You're gonna find out. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, click that bell, and let's go. Which door are we going through? Door one, door two, or door three? Pack two, right bang in the middle. I love mega packs. I did like him. De Gea. I respect him. What else have we got in here? Oh, that's a nice kit though, come on. That is a really nice kit to add to the collection. I'll probably put that on myself. If I get a winner wild card now, I don't really care if the icon doesn't come out. And I haven't. Jimenez. I got two PSG players though. Boy, give me that shadow. So far, so bad. Let's turn this around. Let's pull it around. Never again. No, that's it. I retire from League SBCs. I ain't doing a single one. Oh, I like Yuri, though. I think I lost coins doing that. Terrible. So those mega packs you just saw us open came from the League SBC grinds. Well, I say grind loosely. I didn't really have to work for much. I just used what I had already at the club, added in a few extra, and we did three runs of the Liga Un challenge. And that gives out an 82 plus from the mega packs and as well as the individuals, but they weren't really worth showing. Well, to be honest with you, neither were the mega packs, but marquee mashups were here. So before I went and fixed the team, I wanted to see if I could get lucky and pull anything special. And it came down to the very last one. And this is the most important one to share with you. Are you ready for this? Oh, there's a token, by the way, inside of marquee mashups. After this pack, we are building our competitive weekly side with what we have right now at the club. After this pack. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen here. There are so many wrong things about this one. Okay. All right. First of all, first of all, it's the cheapest. I'm going to sound so ungrateful right now, but it's got to be cleared up. He is the cheapest out of the winter wild cards, and he's Italian. That is literally worthless. 13,000. I feel bad for him. Imagine you're a football player and, you're, and your promo card comes out and it's discards. I'd be embarrassed. 728,000 coins. I know doing this, it feels wrong and it is wrong. I've joined them. I've joined the sweats. But because of the changes to foot champs, we need him. 727,000 coins. Welcome Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe's here. And I've been meaning to buy someone like him for a very long time now. I've just always put off the true meta cards because I wanted to be a little bit more creative. But with the budget that we had, Mbappe to improve the team uh, is going to be worthwhile. So we bought him. We also sold on Usman Dembele. And I picked up Nkunku just to really use for now to fix the squad. I was going to buy Neymar, but I'm not in the position to be buying him at this moment in time. I feel like if the icons come out tomorrow, I'll kick myself over selling those informs because we could literally make an extra 5,000 per card. So it's not really worth it. But Mbappe's in and Kunku's been brought back into the side. We're still trying a Gwendozi. And yeah, we still got our Lucas. Mbappe is here. Wow. Okay, that's a beatable team. De Jong, he's, he's got De Jong. I don't know if it's the spell, special version of De Jong. He's trying to trap that ball though. Our... Now attacking possibilities. Come back this way. Yes, our go, 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 Mbappe. Uh-oh. Mbappe. Yeah. How long can you stop Mbappe for? I'm going to give him a little prediction. Well, Christ, Gwendozi, get in there. I'm going to give him a prediction. I think he's going to last no more than 25 in-game minutes. And Mbappe's already going to score. What should we expect to see from him? Well, they needed to reinforce up front, to be honest. They were looking a little light. Oh, big chance here. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, calculations weren't correct. Uh, 10, under 10 minutes, Mbappe scored. Kozler maybe needs a little bit more strength there. That was bad for me, that. 
His player switching in the defense is decent. The way he's attacking is... The way he's avoiding my interceptions is really good. Maurice. Like, he doesn't seem terrible. All right, okay, come on, boys. Oh, a nice looking pass. No, I'm not having that one. Two interceptions. Well, Mbappe's debut went well. We lost. So cheers for that. Sun's crying. And I was looking at the 4 one 2 one 2 and I haven't been able to play anywhere near as good as I did two weeks ago with it. So enough is enough. 4-4-2. Four, four, we're going back to the original formation I did use on FIFA 22. And well, let's go and test it out. Just for now. Second game, new formation, 4-4-2-2. Four, four, two, two. You know, some days you'll watch my gameplay and think, bloody hell. Hey, that's not... Oh, come on. He's only just arrived. No need to steal the goals off him like that. I was about to say this guy can't score, but he's just going to put that in the back of the net. And the emphasis is on creativity, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Has someone to play it to? Yeah, well done. I'm aging as we speak. I've got a multiplier on how much I'm aging right now. Oh, go on. Oh, go on, Nkunku. Nkunku wasted at right mid, is he? I don't think so. We're about to rob a win. Oh, my team's got momentum. That's a foul. Oh, you really? Yeah, so I felt the intention there. Oh, Venetius Junior, his score, his score. This is okay. Our what a tackle! Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I've won. Well, I haven't won just yet. Oh, Cosa, come on! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> that could have been. Oh man, this game doesn't know what to register at this point. That could have been a pen. I've seen them given as well after the shot, and I still take them out. Yes. Over the top. Lucas. Come on, Lucas, man. Go away, Alisson. Seriously. Cheeky. Oh, what a win. We need some must wins. All right. Win this. Oh, thank you. Lucas. <laughs> Come on. We take that. Mbappe. Oh, yes, kick him out. It's like a buckaroo. Kick him around the head. Gorgeous goal. Well done, boys. I'm, I've, I'm, I'm about to go through. How much space am I in here? Good play. Lucas. So we need half a yard with Lucas. We'll get on form soon. I feel like this is the combo, though. Lucas and Mbappe up top is going to be beautiful. I'm not sure about the center mids. Probably. Go on, Lucas. Wait, wait, wait. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Little back heel. Good play. Gorgeous. Wonderful build up that. Quick fire attack. But if we can make it eight, that'd be great. Nice. See, Lam. Just quality tackling. Really Windows, you watch it, watch it, watch it. Yes, he's got me. He's got me. <laughs> he's got me. Now, let's see what they can do here. Oh, what a Lucas, that is a dirty pass. A is that Mbappe being Mbappe? Well, that's a given. We're going to concede another goal. Lucas, let it drop, let it drop, let it drop. Yes, PK, get your ass out of the way. Lucas. So welcome back. And what you would have seen during this episode today is Osman Dembele being cut from the starting 11. Sad day for the club. Sold him for 335. It is a shame, though, because the other day he was like 370, 380. So I should have got rid of him then. But because we had no intention to get away from the 4 one 2 one 2 he was always going to be sold because I had Lucas. I wanted to pick up Mbappe and to play this man as a cam, it didn't really work out. Now, Tadic, I sold him 
before I sold Dembele. So I was needing the extra coins to go and pick up Mbappe. And then Pau Torres, I just got rid of. Florenzi that we pulled from Marquee mashups, literally the cheapest winter wildcard. And then just a random shadow. So I still got my informs. I still got my Benzemas. You know the deal. And we're on 231,000. And like I just explained, we're back with the 442. And this Gwendozi that we picked up yesterday, even though this past week I felt very awkward on the game. Rebounds, deflections, you know how it is when you have some bad gameplay on FIFA. It's been really, really awkward to play. Gwendozi, however, I kind of like him. And I can't wait to experience him in that free-flowing gameplay. And how many matches have we played now? 13. It's just his pace, uh, the, the long legs, the lunge. I do rate the card. So I want to continue using him. And I'm so pleased that I never sold De Jong. I was close to picking up Fabinho. That would have been the biggest mistake of the RTG. Because De Jong and Guendouzi, I think I'm set on that. Using those two in the 4-4-2. And then obviously Lucas and Mbappe up top. Seven games, six goals, three assists. You know Mbappe. Like I've just joined the sweat. I just want a player like that. And because we've gone back to this formation, Vinicius Jr. has a place. And then just in case you want to switch up to a 4 one 2 on 2 we have Nkunku. So we've basically got two setups in one team. The only downfall is that these two are off cam. If you can find a way to get better cam with this starting 11, I'd really appreciate that. And also, I just brought back Lam. I, I felt like I was defending better with Lam. Cannavaro brought back into the team. Like that Cosa was a bit questionable for me. Um, and then T Tierney, he was good. No, I do like Tierney, but just because Lam was playing well, I just kept him in this side. So tonight is foot champs, potentially icon SPC, and the headline is promo. You ready for it? I think so. Drop a like, and I'll see you boys tomorrow. Team out. Peace.